All right, so now I want to go ahead and talk a little bit about uh, node-based compositing. Um, there are several node-based compositors in the market. Um, I like to use Fusion just for its simplicity. There's Nuke, which is probably the industry standard. This uh, Fusion and Nuke are probably the, the most commonly used uh, compositors. Uh, there's Shake, uh, which was an Apple product, but it doesn't have any support now. So um, if you want to use it, uh, you're not going to get any updates or anything. Um, there's the Autodesk one that comes with Maya called Composite, I believe. And then there's also a, there's also the Blender one that comes with Blender. So um, if you don't have any of these, uh, Blender is a free product and it comes with a, a pretty decent built-in uh, node-based compositor. So what is node-based compositing? Um, it's pretty different compared to After Effects where it works in layers, whereas um, this works in nodes. So um, here's your node panel and this is where all of, uh, all of your work takes place. So let's say I wanted to import a piece of footage. I wouldn't go to import file uh, import because there's really, well yeah you can do footage but um, you're going to want to use a loader node. So how this works is you're going to see that this little node thing pops up right here. Let's go ahead and find our uh, our piece of footage. So let's go ahead and load in our beauty pass. And here, here it is. We have no layers. This is how the node based compositor works. And we can load in all our footage in here and work with it in here. So here are two panels. Um, I can choose that one panel, but uh, Fusion uh, will come with two panels. So if I drag this piece of footage into here, um, you're going to be able to see our footage in here. So this is our little night guy. Now let me go ahead and load in all uh, of our footage. So if I click load, you're going to see that um, a few things happen. One, since I have that piece of footage loaded, it, it thinks that I want to lo uh, merge the next uh, piece of footage that I'm loading with. So you got to be aware of that. I'm going to go ahead and press cancel. And I'm just going to delete these nodes. So here's our beauty pass. I'm going to off click and make sure that this isn't selected and go ahead and hit load. So now that we load, we've got our own little loader um, node here. And let's go ahead and bring in our fill. And we're going to just do that for each one. So here's our fill, here's our key, our reflection, our rim, and our specular. So um, so here's all of our nodes. Each each one contains a piece of footage. Now the way uh, these works is they're not layered. They're kind of piped through together and kind of put into a flow. So we're gonna. I like to go from left to right. You can go from right to left, up or down. But since uh, we read from left to right, then most people just go left to right. So we're gonna go ahead and start with one node at a time and start to kind of build our flow and go ahead and kind of combine everything this way. So we'll start with our beauty pass like we did in After Effects. And the way you combine is, as you saw earlier, uh, we use a merge uh, node. So you, you can find that here. Um, by the way, all these are um, effectors and different kinds of things you can do. But these are just presets. Um, you can find them all under our tool, um, tool drop down here. So these are just some of the most commonly used ones. So we'll go ahead and click our merge. And here's our merge node. So we're going to want to uh, combine this node with our the, the node that we want to merge it with. So we'll go ahead and select our output, which is this red square, and drag it into our input, which is this orange uh, arrow facing inwards. So we'll go ahead and put that in here. So now this is a this is essentially layering, but within one node. So you can only layer two things at a time. So let's go ahead and layer. Uh, we've got our beauty. Let's go ahead and layer our key light next. So let's go ahead and select the output here and drag it into this green arrow here. So now we've merged it. So if I were to drag this node and put it right here, you're going to notice that uh, we've got our key light on top of our beauty pass. So you can see that we have no lighting information here. And we've got to do um, kind of what we did in After Effects, which, which is do an add. But the way Fusion does it is a little different. You've got, you've got your apply node and you've got all your different blending modes, but you're going to notice that it doesn't have add and the way you add here is by turning down this alpha gain so as I kind of drag that down you're gonna notice how this kind of comes together and kind of blends together so here are our nodes and this is kind of how it works uh, we start from the left we've got our loaders and we kind of go through apply effects and then at the end we would create um, a saver node so we're, it's right next to this load button we'll go ahead and click saver and this is how you can save our output. So we'll just name it output for now. It doesn't matter what it's called. 
but I don't want to save it just yet. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag this over here and kind of just disconnect these two things. So I'm going to drag that out. And we're going to go ahead and bring that back in and kind of reassign that. So this does take a little bit of getting used to, um, if, especially if you're uh, comfortable with After Effects and Photoshop. But this will save you a lot of time, especially if you're handling um, you know, tens, a hundred layers at a time. Um, this workflow works a lot better than having to deal with so many layers and pre-comps inside After Effects. Um, this way it can be a lot more efficient. So maybe since we're using a few, uh, only like six passes and layers, uh, After Effects might be a better choice, but it's still important to know how these things work. So we'll go ahead and move along. Let's go ahead and um, merge this merge to another merge. So maybe I want to work with the fill. So let's go ahead and do that, and let's create a new merged uh, merge node. So here's our merge node. Uh, you kind of want to make sure that these are a little bit organized um, visually. Uh, you don't want to have them scattered everywhere. It'd be hard to follow. So let's go ahead and bring this output into our new uh, merge and this fill. Let's go ahead and drag that here. And we'll do the same alpha gain. So you're going to notice that nothing's changing. is because we, don't, we need to view this one, so we'll drag that here. And now you can see that that fill is being added. So remember that we had to turn down our, or turn off our beauty pass in After Effects. So we're going to go ahead and just do the same thing here. We'll just delete that node and bring that in. So actually, we can actually delete that and just start with our key. So let's start with that and that. Now we've got the, these two merged together. And let's keep going. So go ahead and merge that. Next, we'll work with our rim. Put that in here. Output into input and then turn down the alpha gain which essentially adds and now you can see we've got that addition going on next let's do our specular so what you can do is if you have this selected and you create the merge node it'll create that connection automatically so let's go ahead and keep going sign that alpha gain and there you go now we've got our specular now we can turn down that alpha gain with our uh, I believe there's a opacity node. Yeah, here's our subtractive. So we can turn it off like our opacity, turn it up. So maybe we want just a little bit of specular. Next let's, uh, is a reflection. So let's go ahead and merge that. Select that and merge. And then alpha gain. So it might be a little too reflective. We can go ahead and just try and turn that down a little bit. And then if we want to go ahead and output, let's say this was an animation, um, then we can go ahead and output and save that. And then we would just hit render and that would output. But what if we want to add those effects like we did in After Effects and kind of just um, give us a little bit more control over the color? Well, this also has a color corrector node. So um, like After Effects, um, I like this node a little bit better because it combines our hue and saturations, our levels, even um, even does some curves and stuff. So I like this node. And what you can do is, let's say I wanted to adjust um, the overall thing. I can go ahead and drag this node and go ahead and um, put it in right in between. So I think I can. Now I'll just go ahead and do it automatically. So we'll do that, and we'll put that in between right here. So now with this, we can adjust the overall the overall color of our image. Uh, oops. So we can do that. I think I messed up. So let me go ahead and just redo that. Color corrector. We'll go ahead and put that in here, and that in here. All right, so now, yeah, here we go. We've got our match, master hue, saturation, levels, and we can, we can adjust all these things. So this is one way to adjust the colors of, of the overall look pretty simply. And we can also do this um, per footage. So if I were to create another color corrector, and maybe I want to adjust the, that fill layer like we did in After Effects, I'll put that right in between and create that pipe. So, so you can see that these are turning red, and there's obviously a, a miscon misconnection here. Oh, here it is. So I put this into the output. I need to put this into the input. There you go. 
So now you can see how it kind of goes down the pipe and kind of uh, comes all the way down and we can see that image right here. So let's go ahead and adjust this color correction. Maybe and this is our fill, so we can go ahead and adjust our fill color like we did in After Effects. And you can see how this um, workflow, um, as we start to uh, as we start to get a lot of nodes, we can kind of group these. So let's say we have a set, we can kind of bunch up our set nodes here, and we can bunch up our character nodes here, and we can bunch up you know some effect nodes here, our effects here, and then we can like eventually end up with our saver node down here. And it's just a lot easier to see. A bunch of no a bunch of footage and layers and nodes all kind of grouped together, and then and then we have our final output. So you can see how with a lot of layers and footage, um, how something like a node-based compositing system can be very effective. So this is just a quick intro. I barely scratched the surface of Fusion, but I just wanted you to be aware of how this works um, because um, a lot of studios um, prefer this for huge productions um, with so many layers and multiple people working on one composition. You know, I can work on the character color and somebody else can work on the, the effects and kind of tune that. And we, we'd all work on our own separate areas rather than in After Effects, you would adjust a layer and then within a pre-comp, um, you know, you don't know what's affecting somewhere else. So with this, we can clearly see that all of this um, all these nodes end up at this node and we know that um, this is where the output is for all of that so this is just a different way of working um, but I'm gonna go ahead and stay in After Effects because I don't like to use too many layers and I don't want to show you um, how many layers you can output and you know it's I just want to work on the just the basics and just kinda get you familiar so I like to stay in After Effects because um, when you're working with five or six or ten uh, layers it's pretty easy to keep up with whereas if you're working with sixty then it might be complicated so that's just an intro to fusion and I hope uh, you enjoyed that